Hey guys, it's me, Kelly. This is my art journal with Annie prompt this week. She chose um, Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Had an issue with deciding on what to do since uh, when I was younger, I would have came up with a different idea <laughs> of what I wanted to do with that song because it was one of my favorites. Love Pink Floyd, love the wall. So I'm going to walk you through this very quickly. I adjusted my page in my journal and now I'm just putting down some... Um, yellow light it's an artist pigment from folk art very inexpensive and i'm covering the page the pages with that um nothing major just uh getting it all covered and again i don't remember if i said if i just it or not now i'm adding terracotta on top and i'm watering down my brush and i'm watering that down the paint down obviously as you can tell um to get a kind of background looked and, and look and when you when it's finished you'll see why I did that um, but I'm laying my good old paint rag down you can use paper towel whatever you have handy on you and lifting it up to give it that modeled kind of look hitting it with the heat gun to dry it which I love doing on camera because it's so boring for you guys to watch and I wish I could just add a little song in here for you but I can't um, so done with that I'm going to show you up close it looks so awesome it really does and you get i mean you can see where the creases were on the rag and whatnot um no big deal now i'm trying to decide what um isn't that funny even though that you know i know that i'm going to talk over this and make this video so i can make it quicker than i usually make three videos of doing this um i'm still talking while i'm doing this <laughs> while i'm making the painting as if you could hear me when i go over it but anyway <laughs> regardless um, now I'm drawing and what I'm drawing is a bed now you will notice as I draw this bed and I don't know if I, the rest of you are like me in the fact that I get so many ideas in my head and to get them on paper is a completely different thing so I have in my head how I want my bed I'm trying to look at my bed in my head from the side view when I walk in and um, really can't quite convey it the way I want to um, by the end I, I I'm pretty happy with it so I just draw I just drew a basic of the bed and um, that's what I suggest to you on any thing that you're drawing um, you know just draw a basic of it it doesn't have to be perfect because as you see I'll continue going over it um, until I get it right that's why I'm just using regular <coughs> number two pencil whatever I have here um, to sketch um, I drew a pillow and now I'm, I'm drawing sideways also as you can tell which <laughs> explains a lot at the end at the final product but I'm drawing sideways um, I drew the pillow and I'm drawing a person me and a blankie on her on me two of my favorite colors as you'll see as I continue and you see I realize this bed really stinks let me play around with it and I'm giving it legs at the end when I paint the legs, I the colors ran together and whatever, but you get the gist of it. So um, apparently I'm just sitting there thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe I should have a sign of thinking. I'm using some light portrait folk art um, paint, and I'm painting in the face and the neck and the arms. I'm drawing a neckline on her, so she'll have a shirt, and then I'm painting in her neck. Again, with the folk art um, light portrait, portrait light, hitting it with my heat gun, and then going over it again. Because with the background, um, which it really doesn't matter uh, at all, um, but I did go over it again so the background didn't show. And it is a lighter background, so it really doesn't matter. Um, now I'm using Gecko, which is my favorite green paint. And... Um, I'm doing that on the blanket that I drew on top of me laying in my bed. I love this color. I think, um, yeah, Ceramicote makes it. The Delta Ceramicote. It's called Gecko. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's semi-opaque and it is like my favorite color in the whole entire world. I mean, I'm squeezing out last drops of it, scraping it. So, um, and you'll see as I, I did one coat, now I'm doing another, um, and I'm painting my pillow. You gotta have matching people, matching things. If you walked into my bedroom now, you'd think I lived in a 
a circus with the way I have my pillowcases and nothing matches. I don't care. But you could see I'm at the end of my um, paint there as the globs are coming out at the ends. I'm adding a little frilly frillies on the side to make it a little frilly because I, I like being a little frilly. I'm just putting a second coat on the pillow also. Not a big deal. I am going to put hair on me. Otherwise, maybe I just have a green air. Uh, oh, what I do is I wait. I don't waste paint when I have it on my brush. I have another page. Hurry up, hit it with a heat gun, close it, and I'm heat, heat gun on that. But it looks like I could have a green fro going on there. That's a pretty good look. I might try that. Now, this is called um, uh, Twinklets Diamond Dust. And I'm putting a little bit of that on the green while it's wet. I spray just a little bit of water to keep the paint wet. Um, and just giving it a little sparkle. Now I'm using Engine Red Folk Art. And I'm going to do the shirt. Hey, I didn't do too bad painting sideways. Not looking at it straight on. Yay me. So I'm just painting her shirt. My little bedtime shirt. Actually, if you must know the truth, I don't wear a shirt to bed. I don't go commando, but I'm not a pajama girl at all. But I don't think that um, YouTube or the art group or anywhere I post this would appreciate my nudity. So I figured I'd put a nice red shirt on because it matches all the colors and I love it. And this is Coffee Bean from uh, Folk Art. And I'm going to do the um, hair, and I have, those who know me have wicked curly hair. So we're going to do some wicked curly hair on me. Because again, this is somewhat me. Although she has much better looking hair than I do, apparently. If I can only control mine. So I just, and you see how easy, just little squiggle, squiggle, squiggles. Nothing big. Nothing fancy. Now I took a little darker color of a skin tone. I believe it's just called um, Light Flesh. It's by Folk Art. And I mixed a little teeny bit of the brown. I went, rinsed my brush out, but I had a little bit brown left in there. And it was just to give her a little bit of a hue in her face rather than so light. Um, so that's what I did there, and now I'm just hitting it. Um, I hit it with the heat gun. And now I'm putting on terracotta again. Is that terracotta? Did I use terracotta? Yeah, I used terracotta. Terracotta again on the bottom of the bed frame. And I'm, I'm careful. See how I go around my blanket that's kind of hanging over on the side? And I'm just going all over it with this terracotta. You can also tell them at the end there. So I kind of scrape up what I didn't use and put it back in the bottle. I'm a freak like that. I'm cheap. I'm so cheap. Why waste all that good paint? I'm, I'm, I'm scraping back in that bottle, believe me. And it's okay. You do it too. And then I'm just cleaning off my brush. I'm sure you'll see me do another page or something with that. So then I'm sitting there and I'm thinking and I'm going black. I'm going to use licorice in folk art. And I'm going to do the legs. And apparently wasn't looking at the computer when I did it and so I can't you can't see me doing the one side which is no harm use your imagination but I'm just doing two lines down and I think those are the yeah there we go now I realize oh I'm off camera and I'm just going down no I could have left it like that but no I don't leave anything alone I go back I try to fix and then everything's a mush and mush and I really don't care and then I realize under my bed I have because I have a California King I have one of those poles there don't exactly know if I need it or not. I was going to put it, um, paint my dog underneath the bed, but I just decided not to. I think I torture y'all with my uh, long videos as it is. Now I have a Sharpie, and I was going to do her face, but I decided to change my mind because um, everything is still kind of wet. And I'm trying to make dots. I had, I'm telling you, no, don't, don't use your pen there. It's not going to work. <laughs> and what did I use? Oh, you know what I used? I used a spool. I have a wooden little spool that I had gotten in a, um, a RAK, Random Act of Kindness, from somebody. And I love these spools. And it was sitting here. And I thought, huh, here we go. 
So now I'm using, um, it is called, it's one of my favorite colors, Hot Pink. And that's also from Folk Art. And I'm making dots on my green, my neon green blanket. Because that, that really in life is so me. I love it. I'm actually going to do a painting with those two colors soon. So, And you can see some of the circles didn't come out. You know, you don't break, your heart don't break over it. You just take your paintbrush, take some paint, and go over it to make them full circles if you want them. You can keep them organic looking. Some of mine are very organic looking. And, uh, you know, still have some spots missing. But who cares? You get the gist of it. And it's yours. So make it your color scheme of what you like. I'm just dabbing and a dabbing. Now what am I going to I'm wiping up the extra pink I had there. I'm hitting it with a heat gun. I love my heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. Same thing. When you're painting, unless you're embossing something, you don't need a heat gun. Use a hair dryer. Go to Walmart, you know what I mean, or whatever, buy the cheapest hair dryer they have because it's just the heat. Uh, you know, to dry everything. And sometimes the heat gun on the paint will bubble up. And sometimes I love that texture. In this case, I don't. So I don't use it long on there. Now, what am I doing? Apparently thinking. Thinking, thinking. I should have a sign for thinking. I should write a sign, but I'm thinking. What the heck was that? I'll tell you in a minute what it was. I have my ink pad, which is the archival, um, which is range from Ranger, the black. Oh, I'm doing, a, that's what it is. It's just a little stamp I have. I wanted to do a little decoration on top um, of my wall, my faux wall. And then after I did it, I hated it and thought I'm not going to waste my time painting over it because I realized that what I wanted to do I just kind of screwed up because I put that up there, but I did it anyway, and I'm cool with it. That was like one of those. Do you ever have one of those thoughts? Now I'm just going in with a thin Sharpie, and I'm drawing my face sleeping. Well, my face, somebody's face. It's supposed to be my face, but I would have to draw a big basketball, and then we'd all be in, you know. That would be the whole picture, my big basketball face. That's what I could name it. <laughs> just me sleeping, putting in the eyes. Little eyelashes, little nose, little lips. Now I'm using, actually that's my dr dripper, like uh, that sucks up water. I can't think of what it's called right now. It just left my mind. And I dipped it in the pink and I'm putting some polka dots on my um, painting itself. On my pillow so it matches my blanket because they got to match. I'm taking some very dark coffee bean folk art paint, watered it down, and I'm going over the terracotta bed just to give it a little bit of wood grain look. Nothing fancy. Just kind of adds a little bit of texture over it to make it little, look a little bit more like wood, not so flat in a sense. Again, the heat gun. And I'm just kind of wiping off some of it. You know, just so it gives a little wood grain. Now I'm drawing everywhere. Going over the black marker of the legs. Here's where the mistake happens. I get out of control with the black marker. Actually, the black marker doesn't work that well. I don't know why I grabbed it. So I grabbed my... Um, Fabric Castell big black bold one, which I love, and I'm just going and outlining everything. I think it adds a cool look, especially when you're art journaling and whatnot, you know, just to make everything kind of stand out a little bit. Again, I'm doing this all sideways. Isn't that hysterical? That's amazing for me. I can't even talk sitting, you know, looking at somebody straight. Going over the hair. I was going to do the polka dots and like kind of, you know, go over them and do them in black.